The Oasis village near here is loyal to the Dark God sect. They enslave other local villagers to mine gold for cancer. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome back to some more Age of Mythology Resolved. We are uh, replaying this mission. I did do a cheesy strat for this one previously. Um, so I thought I would do the more traditional approach this time round. And to be fair, this is a good mission, um, all things considered. Um, it's a bit challenging in the sense that um, the enemy is relentless in their attacks. Well, I've uh, I found a couple of tricks that we can uh, utilize to make our lives considerably easier and make this mission far more manageable. So one of the things we're going to want to do early here is take care of these two tents. And the reason being is they are basically... Um, they they pull a lot of attacks from our troops when we take this particular army on. We also want to keep these guys close to our Kantos, so that when he does his raw ability, his overpowered raw ability, it benefits the, uh, the troops as well as the heroes. We do want to be careful that we don't pick off too much too quickly. A Manra is the one that will always seem to get targeted because of a jump ability. I want this guy to do his raw. Here we are specifically taking exactly five, we're leaving the rest here. I've turned the sort of unit remarks down or the narration down a little bit just because they can be quite overwhelming when we're trying to uh, juggle lots of armies and things. Especially when I'm trying to talk as well, that doesn't help. We end up with overlapping uh, voices, which can be really diff difficult to distinguish. You don't want to make want to make sure we don't lose any um, villagers here. They are the MVPs right now, which must be protected at all costs. The sword bearer is pretty tanky, he's got 400 HP, so it's unlikely he's going to die anyway. Um, the enemy does summon a uh, serpent. God power. So we just need to make sure that our bills aren't getting focused down. But this is probably one of the weakest god powers in the game, like it's so... So weak, <laughs> honestly. It's already um, expired. I only last like 16 seconds. So you got a couple of crocodiles that we want to take care of. Honestly, right, at this point, these guys can just waltz past them. I think there's one more over here to take care of. So there's a reason I'm only bringing these five labourers over. Thank you, stranger. Come sit forced us from our home in the sacred city of the gods. We will join you to defeat him. Right. Three fishies. We want to grab food. Start grease production. Wait for these guys to pass, then we'll trigger that. Upgrade, grab that one. I'm also going to move these guys off of there to build a couple of walls. So there's two walls we want to build that will make our lives considerably easier. One is here, and the other, which is arguably way more important, is over here. Uh, let's grab Chiron to pick this up. You guys can deal with all of that. Push two to three, just for efficient farming. Kemsi's army has reached the first village. 
Perfect. We can head back to the base. Where's Chiron? So Chiron, let's pop that there. That just gives us a trickle of favour, which is always useful. Then there. Once they're done with that, we want to build a tower here. Gate. You're fishing, you're not. So you, my friend, need to go over here and grab the fourth fish. No point building more than four fishing boats because there's not enough food. I want to drop down this. I want to focus now on food. Everything in this mission costs gold. In the, well, in this faction, I would say, more than this mission. So we want to make sure our gold eco is insanely strong. I'm going to put two back on wood, even though we don't really need wood a huge amount in this mission. It's worth having a little bit of wood eco coming in. Build mine here, which is nice and safe. This one, these goals are very difficult to take because the enemy even jumps over the walls. And their poison attacks, like one attack, will probably uh, kill a, a worker. Definitely want to go for Bast. Bast for the upgrades to improve um, food and wood production. Especially as you've only got a few people on wood. At this point, I want to put people on gold. So, pre, so basically, what we're going to be using in the early game when we get to age three, which is what we're going to be racing up towards, we will can then build um, uh, some pet sobex and war elephants and that is going to be the bulk of our army honestly these guys should probably build a uh, thing when they get the chance and 100 gold Just that there actually stop reduction there for a second so we can actually build that we want to get a good trickle of favor coming in really quickly I want to repair walls and send them back we need to hit age three before we get um, Uh, before we get the upgrades, I think this one's also age three. I'll right click it just so that as soon as it is available, we can uh, we can grab it. This one definitely want, and we want to grab this as well. So we'll grab this upgrade. When we get a chance, this one too. So basically this fractions off their troops, they'll jump over the wall, these ones, get them killed nice and easy, and then we can deal with the rest of their army. Just saves them going into our back line, just absolutely murdering all of our villagers. Just rinse and repeat a couple of times whilst we age up. Upgrades. We are going towards um, Sobek. Either option can work, but I think Sobek is the best option to go for. Yeah, at this point, we definitely need some more. Um, faith, oh, not faith. It's a Civ uh, mechanic. Um, uh, favor production. I always call it faith. I don't know why. Maybe it should have been called faith, not favor. Now we also want to upgrade these walls as well when we get chance. As I say, everything costs gold with this faction, so... 
Hence why we are focusing so heavily on gold. We also want to grab this upgrade so the pools are sturdier. We're actually getting close to unit uh, cap as well. So I'm actually going to build, not with them, with these guys. As they would is that resource. A lot of buildings are free with Egypt. So actually wood production is kind of not needed unless you need ships. Like even, even farms are gold, not wood. So we are going to want to build a TC here as soon as we're possibly able. So that again, quite a heavy cost in terms of gold. Um, but that is what we're going to be racing towards. Even pet Sobex cost gold. Um, we are going to want to use them. They are going to make up the bulk of our army. But the reason why we're going priests is priests are very adept at killing myth units. It's kind of like their gimmick. And they're good for healing as well, so they're kind of like serving a dual purpose. At this point, I'm actually going to stop production of pet Sobex. Really do need to uh, build a uh, town centre here. There's so many gold here, so much gold here to mine. Want to get as many uh, villas on that as possible. Honestly, these upgrades are not that useful. Uh, this one's actually taken some damage. I should probably heal that up. Uh, where's me uh, thing? There it is. Got that team nine. That's going to be team zero because I want to grab the upgrades. Why can they not? Repair that. Okay, well. That then, I guess. If they decide to target that. So we want a double uh, double um, worker production on this. Going to grab a few more workers for trees at this point. Don't need that. There is a little fun tactic where you can actually just um, take an army and drop them here, and then you're kind of behind the enemy lines, but not really needed to be fair. Okay, we are starting to get good, um, uh, pretty good economy at this point, so we can get a second temple. I'm also going to want to build a citadel as well. So wood is for the upgrade, so that is probably something I should have put a few more people on wood actually, in hindsight. So age 3 is the max age we can get. To be fair, the objective is actually to kill this army, so if you get enough pet Sobex or whatever, you can literally just go through here and completely ignore Orange. Orange is very much an optional objective. We are going to take them out, because why wouldn't we? Um, and obviously this is more a traditional, more fun run, rather than a 
more speedy approach. I think people, I think the uh, devs took out the rocks entirely rather than make it so that the um, uh, sword bearers couldn't um, uh, get transported simply because there's still some cheeky tactics you can do with rocks. For example, you could grab a rock and then put a load of villagers here and then just build like a load of citadels and things so that when the enemy attacks they just get wrecked. Um, so yeah, I, I guess that's why they took out the rock entirely from this mission. Just fed up of people using shenanigans rather than trying to complete it the traditional route. And I am definitely uh, a culprit of that. Right, one thing I have not been doing very well actually, to be critical of my own play, is building monuments. Even though they do come with a pretty hefty cost to be fair. So I'll wait till I get 700 and then I'll build another. And then we'll resume pet Petsobek production on both temples. Upgrades are pretty much done at this point. We've got 15 on wood, which is probably way too much. Um, especially now we've got most of the upgrades. But I am actually going to slow down production of this just so that we can build. Citadel. I don't really need wood at this point now. Careful that we don't over push. Of course, a man reciters jump over the wall. So, luckily, you don't actually need to target an enemy to jump over things, which means uh, walls are optional for a manra, uh, specifically. So, basically, the elephants are going to basically become our tanks. And then the so pet so backs will basically become our DPS ultimately. Might be worth just getting a couple of priests mixed in as well. One other upgrade we're going to want is this so that we can uh, increase our pop limit. At this point, we can stop villager production. We've got plenty. It's going to be hard, uh, be hard fought to actually uh, create that many units, to be honest. So let's go to another temple. We can go and mine this. But yeah, Pet so gets Pet so back, sorry, legit broken units. They're so, so powerful. And their range is outrageous. Look at this range. It's huge. Uh, for anyone interested, it's ult that I'm pressing to see the range of a unit.
The other benefit of using elephants is that they're uh, very adept at destroying buildings. And wild pet sobex are absolutely fine at destroying buildings. They're um, they're no war elephants. Make sure we're all nice and topped off. Oops. So we'll take care of all these buildings. Um, uh, to be fair, we can pretty much finish this mission whenever we want. Bring him up. This guy's gonna heal Chiron. their enemy uh, TC over there. <laughs> Waste of time. Nothing down there. Okay, next up we want to take care of uh, this. Fast they die, holy schmoly. That was just three pet Sobex. <laughs> I mean, even walls don't stand a chance against pet Sobex. I think that they're probably one of my favorite units in the game, truly. I think they're one of the strongest units in the game as well. Straight up. Like, once you get a critical mass of them, oi oi oi. We don't need any more priests. Just take that off the uh, auto queue. It's actually quite fun replaying some of these missions. In interestingly, this is um. Whilst this is the more longer traditional route, this is uh, arguably a uh, far more effective solution or strategy that works every time. But it's also fun to mix in cheese as well from time to time, so... I don't know what you guys think, but maybe if I was to do like a cheese mission followed by a thing all in one video, then maybe that's a different way I could approach mixing these in. Kind of just thinking of how I can sort of improve the videos and obviously, you know, the five minute videos are always good fun, but they're also very short, so potentially doing a normal mission or like a, a cheese mission followed by a normal mission might, um, might be something that is desired. So we're actually just going to use this guy to take care of the enemy base and then we're actually going to use our army to take care of red just to prove that you don't actually need this guy and this whole thing was completely pointless. <laughs> it's basically a pointless endeavor when we could have literally just used the army to kill this. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bye bye. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Jesus, that damage. <laughs> wow. Two hit a fan center. That is hilarious. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, we actually need to change the uh, ordering of this. These all elephants need to be up front. Da -da 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 -da. Dun, dun, 
dun 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 Oh, where are you going? I mean, these things just... Uh, man, it's just insane how quickly things melt with pet slaybacks. Once you get a critical mass, I mean, I've got 15, but I mean... Like anything stands a chance. <laughs> they are legit overpowers. GG's. Alright. Alrighty, folksy. 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 <laughs> Alrighty, folks. That'll right about do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up if this is the kind of content you enjoy. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel and would be greatly appreciated. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.